Okay, everyone, this is Custom. Today, we've got two products here from Triangle Lab uh, that we're going to be testing on our Ender 3. So, first up, we've got the new stepper motor here, which is a 3 to 1 ratio. And we've also got the mini BMD extruder, which we're going to try. Uh, we're going to try the stock with the stock extruder motor, and then we're going to flip across to this and see what, see what difference it is. Uh, we're going to be testing it with PETG. It's a filament that we've had issues before with like a direct drive without any gearing reduction. So we're going to do a few tests. I'm going to run a stock test. We're going to run one with just this unit and then we're going to run one with both the unit, this extruder and this stepper motor to sort of see if there's any difference. Um, and we're going to go from there. So let's get this on the machine and we'll try it out. So we've done a couple of tests here. We've done a couple of benches, a couple of cats and a couple of triangles here. So. We'll start with the stock setup, which our stock setup has just got the Fatus Dragonfly um, extruder, which we reviewed already in a previous video. Um, it's come out great. This has been printed in a, just a white Pet G from Isan. Uh, we made sure that we dried the filament out in our dry box to make sure that it was dry because it had been sitting around a little while. It's come out good. Uh, we tried to pick a benchy that had a little bit more fine detail to hopefully in, you know, try to get some clogging or some sort of um, misprint action which we normally would get from pet g uh, but this has come out quite nice uh, i was sort of surprised straight up it's come out perfect so then we changed out the extruder and we put the dual gear high torque you know the mini bms from triangle lab and we noticed pretty much no difference uh, we tried to calibrate our e-steps to get them within sort of a mil of what they were so the results were the same we've loaded up the same file every time as well so we've done our best to get consistent back-to-back -back results sort of just relying on different hardware changes and then we installed the three to one stepper driver and once again there's really no difference we did notice a little bit of difference maybe in the front of the skull but nothing really too obvious like it's very hard to pick up any differences like we've had a good look at these and they've all they've all come out excellent so then we decided we'd go back and we'd try to do something with a more flat surface to try to capture more, you know, any little deficits between them. Um, so we've done this cat. This is the stock setup with just the extruder. Uh, it's come out good. You do notice a little bit of weird lines and it might not be a little bit hard to pick up around the ears, which go all around the model. But otherwise it's come out pretty good other than the tail. But once again, Pet G, you're printing with no fan, so... They're not the best for overhangs. And then we've done the full upgrade with a 3 to 1 stepper uh, motor as well as the extruder. Uh, it's come out pretty much identical. We're getting the same lines around the ears here. So there was really no difference. So then we decided we'll go with something a little bit different. So we tried a triangle. Obviously, the top's not going to be perfect because it's PETG, no cooling, a little bit of issues with it. but. All the way up, the lines are consistent. There's no signs of under extrusion or clog, like partial clogs or anything weird. Which PETG, I've always had issues with it, was sort of like fine details. So that's why we started with the benchy. We tried to go extreme, but it came out nice. So, and then this was the one that was fully upgraded with a 3 to 1 uh, stepper motor and the extruder, and it's pretty much come out identical. So we didn't sort of know where to go from there. So we decided to blow something up and we put bit of PLA in here and this has just been done in 0.2 layer height it's nothing crazy and this has come out fabulous like no stringing no nothing it's just perfect so this was done with everything installed so at the end of the day would I recommend these upgrades well the extruder assembly is one thing that does fail on enders they crack along the um, along the arm which is quite common so I'd probably recommend that. The stepper, stepper motor, I don't really reckon you need it. Not If you're not printing anything high-end like nylons and stuff, which we are aiming this machine to start printing nylons a little bit higher, higher-end stuff. So we do have a new mainboard coming, which will be the next part of this video, sort of upgrading the stock Ender 3. So if you guys do want to check these out, we've got the links in the description to Triangle Labs, both the extruder and the... Um, stepper motors they'd probably actually be quite good for like a, um your z-axis if you had quite a lot of weight on it maybe you know you'd run dual them and it'd, you'd not have to worry about it, you know losing any steps but otherwise i don't really think it's needed currently um maybe in the next part of the video once we try it we might see some better results with some nylon and some sort of 
a little bit more filament that's a little bit more temperamental but for your average user I would just recommend just getting the Fatus Dragonfly hot end and also the extruder. So until the next video, have a good one.